Hello. Today it's a beautiful day outside. Um, the sky behind me is bright blue and gorgeous and I haven't figured out a way to flip my camera while I'm videoing. <laughs> so I'll have to show you in a second. Um, today I wanted to talk about uh, one of my favorite hobbies um, is garage sailing. Uh, it kind of happened, I don't even know how to explain, um, somebody was always talking about all these great finds they found on a garage sale and uh, once I went to my first one I was hooked. Uh, part of the experience for me is actually meeting people and making friends and getting to know them and hear their story. Um, my favorite garage sales are actually ones in which um, it's an older person. Uh, a lot of times they're moving out of their house, um, they're going into a retirement home, and quite often one of their, their spouses has have died. And so what's interesting is that you hear all these stories about their loved one and um, the things they're selling and, and their memories and their connection to what it is um, that they're selling. For instance, I have a cheese plate in my pantry right now that I bought simply because um, this sweet, dear little old man told me how his wife, every time a guest came over, would put cheese out on this cheese platter. And so I just had to buy it just simply for the story. I don't even know, I've only maybe used it once or twice, um, but I just think of that dear little old man and, and his love for his wife. And um, that's why I bought the cheese plate. Uh, so uh, in my garage sailing, I have learned that um, what I like to do before I go is I like to pray. Um, and I say a prayer, it's a very simple one. It says, Lord, help me to say yes to the things I need to say yes to and no to the things I need to say no to and show me the way to go. Because the thing about garage sailing is um, I actually don't look up where they are. I'll just hop in my car and if I see a sign, I'll turn. And then because I say this prayer, sometimes I don't feel the urge to turn and follow that sign so I just wait and if I feel you know um, the urge then I follow it and and I'll go to that garage sale and I'll look for what I think I need to say yes to um, so this story happened last summer and uh, what's interesting is that uh, I, I love plants I think I've mentioned that before and I was thinking about this cactus I had for many, many years. It was actually my brother's cactus. He was given it as a birthday present. Um, I don't know how old he was, but it was just this teeny little baby cactus and then it grew and then it died and it looked completely shriveled and worthless and looked like it needed to go in the trash. Um, okay, grab your bike. Sorry, my kids are playing outside so you can probably hear them. But, okay, my cactus story. So for some reason, I was thinking about this cactus that I used to have that died and then came back to life and then it had like two heads and it really thrived and I had it for years and years and years. And for some reason, you know, I was thinking about it and I thought, I'd like to have another cactus. I, I really liked that cactus. It was a fascinating plant. Um, and it's a little trickier to, to grow and to, um, uh, it's very different from a, a regular plant in, in how you water it and take care of it. So, uh, a few days later, I, I'm gonna go garage sale on a Saturday. I snuck away and get in my car and I say my prayer and I'm driving along and I see a sign and I'm like, oh, I feel like I should go to this one. So I drive up and what's fascinating, there's like a whole culture of garage sailing. So a lot of like the hardcore people, they just drive by a garage sale and assess whether or not they even wanna get out of their car. You know, because they're like, eh, this one's not for me. And then they speed off. So they'll sl slowly drive by and then speed off. Well, so I felt like I should go to this one and I pull up and it's um, this little shriveled, hunched back um, old man. And he, uh, I don't think he even had any teeth. Um, he was, uh, I think he was Chinese is what he told me. Um, he didn't speak really any English. Um, and uh, so he only had three items out on his driveway. Um, one was uh, a really neat plant, uh, which I bought. I asked him how much it was. He said, three dollar, three dollar. Said sold. He instantly picked it up and put it in my van for me. Um, and then he had this really neat succulent pot. And I really thought about it, but I calculated how much it would cost me to buy all the succulents to fit in the holes. And I realized it was gonna be a very expensive venture. 
and I talked to him about it. Like I explained it all. I was like, cha-ching, 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 you know, and he got it. Even though I don't think he speaks a lot of English, we, we were both laughing and talking about it and I resisted on the succulent pot. And then the other thing was this very tall cactus. And I really wanted it and he said, two dollar, two dollar. And I was like, oh, that's a great deal, you know, for a cactus, but at the time I had my little one, she was two. I thought, oh, a cactus, you know, she'll get pricked, it's dangerous. You know, I just, I talked myself out of it. So I didn't buy the succulent pot and I didn't buy the cactus and I got back in my van and I started driving out of the neighborhood and I just really felt the Lord say to me, you asked me for a cactus. I got you a cactus for $2. Go back and get your gift. And I was just like, oh my goodness, just struck. Like, wow, you're right. I, like days ago, I said I wanted a cactus. You deliver me an awesome cactus for $2 and I resisted it. I talked myself out of it. So I turned around, I go back and when I pull up, there are these two women uh, standing next to the cactus and they're speaking in Spanish. And so I can't understand what they're saying, but they very obviously wanted to buy the cactus. And I, and so I get, as soon as I pull up, the, the little old man goes, oh, oh, wrong, wrong, so wrong. And I said, no, 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 no. I said, I decided I wanted to get the cactus. So he instantly just walks over, kind of, you know, brushes the, the two women aside that are looking at it, grabs the cactus, puts it in my car before I can even say anything. And so I felt that it was that it was rude on on my part to to steal the cactus out from underneath um, these women because obviously they wanted it. Um, but you know, my this sweet little guy, he didn't care. He just like you're here for your cactus, do, 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 and you know, stuck it in my car. So I went over to the ladies and I said, "Oh, I, I'm sorry, I was here before, and I you know wanted to buy it and I didn't, and I came back to get it, and um uh, and." And say, they said, oh, do you know about that cactus? And I said, no. And they said, well, it's delicious. You can actually eat it. The things that grow off of it, you pluck off. And they tried to tell me like the recipe of how to cook them. And I was sitting there thinking, I'm never gonna eat this cactus. I, I, I'm not gonna do all the things you're saying to prepare it. Um, and I kind of had felt guilty, you know, that here I had taken this from them. And, and to them, it was like this really special treasure. Though it, was off to, though it was also my treasure and my gift that you know I felt like that God had given me. So, um, so then I decided to share it with them. I said, well, I'll be honest. Before I go garage sailing, I say this prayer. I encourage you to say it. I say, Lord, help me say yes to the things I need to say yes to, no to the things I need to say no to, and show me the way to go. So the lady goes, I say the prayer. I say the prayer right now. She goes, Lord. <laughs> And so she says the prayer. She says the prayer right there. Okay, meanwhile, she says the prayer, is looking up at heaven, asking God, you know. The little old man walks around the side of his house carrying the biggest, coolest cactus you've ever laid eyes on. It had tons and tons and tons and tons of the things she was talking about. Mine only had two, two teeny ones at the time. So we see the cactus and the little old man and and the woman looks at me and she goes oh, oh and i said thank you jesus and she goes thank you jesus thank you jesus i mean she started jumping up and down looking at heaven rejoicing rejoicing because god had right then and there delivered her the biggest best cactus you've ever seen she said the prayer boom he walks around the side of the house it was amazing like amazing so then i'm looking at her cactus you know and he puts it down in front of her and she's so excited and she's you know and then i'm like well, well her cactus is bigger and better than my cactus are you kidding your cactus is perfect for you god's gift that he gave you is perfect for you her cactus is perfect for her that was god's gift to her it had all the things the things i wasn't even going to use i have a two-year-old i don't need a gigantic cactus i need the cactus that he gave me that he gave me so don't judge everybody else's gifts accept love appreciate yours thank you thank you to god for the gifts he's given you and only you no one else um 
So I wanted to read a scripture verse in Isaiah that probably everybody knows. It's for I know the plans I have for you, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. Then when you call upon my name, I will listen. When you ask with all your heart, I will be there for you. Something like that. That's what I, the way, the version I had memorized in my head. I couldn't find it in Isaiah, okay? Uh, Isaiah is one of my favorite books in the Bible. My mom actually gave me an awesome book that's just nothing Isaiah and it's really cool and it, I can't wait to read it and I've been putting it off because when I'm really excited about something, I kind of put it off to savor it. I know, silly. Okay, so I couldn't find the Isaiah that I just tried to, you know, recite from memory, but I found so many other ones that I was a little overwhelmed. But so, this is the one I decided to choose. Uh, Isaiah 60, arise, shine, for your light has come and the glory of the Lord rises upon you. See, darkness covers the earth. There's a little darkness right now, kids. And thick darkness is over the peoples, but the Lord rises upon you and his glory appears over you. Nations will come to your light and kings to the brightness of your dawn. Lift up your eyes and look upon you. All assemble and come to you. Your sons come from afar and your daughters are carried on your arm. Then you will look radiant. You will look and be radiant. Your heart will throb and swell with joy. The wealth on the seas will be brought to you. To you the riches of the nations will come. So the reason I chose this one is it was so awesome how that woman instantly rejoiced and thanked God when that man brought that gift around the corner from her. And um, to me, I just, that's how I want to be. Every time God delivers a beautiful gift from me, I want to shine his light. I want to radiate his joy. I want to be thankful. Look to heaven and say, thank you, God, for these gifts you have given me. So say my garage sale prayer. It's a great prayer to say every day. I mean, come on, hello. We need help saying yes to the things we need to say yes to and no to the things we need to say no to. And we need God to show us the way to go. So it's a great daily prayer that you should say every day. So I, of course, can't tell you this whole story and not show you my cactus. So here is my cactus. I don't know if you can see it very well. And so when I first got it, all it was was these two little, this guy and this guy, and it didn't have any of those things on it. Um, so yeah, so that's my cactus story. It's a, it's a great story. Um, God is good and, you know, ask him to lead you and show you the way to go and ask him for big gifts today, Lord. We just ask that you lead people, you help people to say yes and to say no and, and um, a great prayer, obviously, is the one Jesus recommended, which is, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. So keep shining his light. Be radiant for him. Lord, help everybody today. In your name we pray. Amen.